I wear vegan shoes. Um, I buy vegan bags. I cook vegan recipes. I eat delicious vegan chicken nuggets. I go to vegan restaurants. I put almond milk or coconut milk in my tea. I sometimes buy wool jumpers. On my birthday, I have been known to eat birthday cake. If I have a really, really bad day, I might eat some barbecue flavored hula hoops, which have dried whey, which is like from milk. Um, as the sixth or seventh ingredient. I used to identify as vegan, I used to call myself vegan, and now I try not to because I am not fully vegan. I sometimes use the word on Twitter, um, and like other places where you're trying to fit a lot of information into a short space, because it's hard to fit, I'm a vegan 98% of the time, but I did eat a what's it a couple of weeks ago into 140 characters. I also sometimes use it because it's helpful when people say, well, why aren't you eating this? Why won't you eat this? And I can say, oh, because I'm vegan. Or if people are asking about my dietary requirements for an event, I can just say vegan because that's easy because the majority of the time my diet is vegan. I believe in all the ethics behind veganism. There's no point trying to convince me otherwise. New commenters who've come across this video and are gonna leave some interesting comments. <laughs> I try to live by my principles in life the majority of the time, especially when it comes to food, which is very personal. I never want to deny myself things to the point of just being really unhappy or like mentally unhealthy. Meat and fish I won't touch, I won't go near them, um, but eggs and dairy are a little bit harder sometimes. I don't know if that's because I only went vegan a few years ago and I've been vegetarian for a long time. I also believe that Topshop sweatshops are wrong and single use plastic is wrong and iPhones are very obviously wrong. But there is Topshop in my wardrobe and sometimes I buy bottles of peach iced tea because I love peach iced tea and there is an iPhone in my pocket. I do believe in living your beliefs as far as you possibly can and what's reasonable for you in your situation. I think if we're all honest with ourselves, the majority of us could be doing a bit better, but I really don't want to bring shame into this. I have been shamed by so many people over ethics, food, fashion, and it just doesn't work. The solution for me is to just find practical ways of doing better. Get a keep cup or something similar so you're not responsible for all of those Starbucks cups that can't actually be recycled, Google it. Buy less fast fashion, eat less meat, eat less dairy, buy cruelty-free makeup when you can. A lot of people say to me that they became vegan because of me, um, which I think is great, obviously. But I also worry that especially on the internet, there's this kind of gold standard that you have to live up to. The weird thing is that I'm not worried about being shamed or attacked by other vegans because even though I know there is militant veganism, like there's militant everything, but I don't get attacked by other vegans, like basically ever, I get attacked by people who eat meat. I think that sometimes people think that I think that I'm better than them. It feels like that gets projected onto me and then people want to find ways of tearing me down and proving that I'm not as good as I think I am. Why? There will be comments on this video probably saying like, haha, I found the vegan because she can't help but tell you that she's vegan. But I'm literally talking about veganism and morality and not being 100% perfect. It would be hard to do that without mentioning the word. <laughs> when people ask me about my diet, like in the, in the world, outside of the internet, I usually say, I'm a 97% vegan. I'd like to be 100% vegan because I think that's what's right. The egg and dairy industries are sometimes crueler than the meat industry. I will strive to achieve that goal because I want to live in line with what I think is right. But until then, I will not beat myself up if I eat a Malteser. The comment section will do that for me. I really don't know what the takeaway point from this video is. Um, I guess live as ethically as you possibly can within reason. Follow the path of happiness, not shame. Please don't yell at me on Twitter. Try and find little ways to live more ethically if you can before we destroy the world completely and it all comes crumbling down around us. Let me know what you think about the gray areas of ethics in the comments below.